So let's talk about antidepressants. I've just pulled over because I wanted to create this video. I picked up this newspaper today and this one. I never ever get a newspaper, but I had to pick these up today. I walked past, I was filling up my car and I saw this as a front page headline, pop more happy pills. Now I wanna talk about antidepressants. I've spoken about this in a previous video before, my personal experience and also my thoughts on antidepressants has slightly changed since that video. But this is what's wrong with mental health right now. Pop more happy pills. Now, excuse this, because the sun's shining in my eyes. In terms of antidepressants, personally, they have a place, and of course, they do help you in terms of a chemical imbalance in your brain. A lot of people that suffer with depression, mental health, do need antidepressants to help them. But this isn't the solution. Happy pills, that isn't what an antidepressant is. Um, the Guardian, what's, what does The Guardian say? Let me just pull it up. That's the football. Depression, the drugs do work, say experts. So antidepressants do work, but some are more effective than others. Um, and they're doing a big study on it as well. Um, the Sun takes a different approach, a terrible approach. One million extra need them, pop more happy pills. Doctors should dish out antidepressants to at least a million more Brits. Researchers said only a fraction of adults with depression are getting the help that they need. That's, that's obviously a spot on statement, but this just paints a picture of you can pop a pill and your depression will go. It paints a picture that it's the solution, the only solution. And that's the mistake. Now, the, the story that I've explained before is my dad, when my dad felt depressed, he went to the doctors. And my dad never really took medication. Um, even if he had a headache, he would just drink more water and just try and get rid of it himself. And he went to the doctor saying that he felt depressed and the doctor just prescribed him these antidepressants. And within five days, he attempted to kill himself for the first time. He walked in front of a van and he survived that accident, came round, was in a mental health unit as well because obviously he still felt depressed and they tried different prescription drugs, they tried different antidepressants and honestly he did get a little bit better but then six months after he did take his own life and I've spoken about that before and that isn't the point of this video, I wanted to talk about antidepressants but the, it, isn't, it isn't a happy pill, it's a serious drug that you can take that manages the imbalance of chemicals in your brain. Now, a few points that I want to make in this video is if you're thinking about taking antidepressants, I highly recommend that you get as much professional advice as you possibly can. I went to the doctors a few months after my dad died because I was feeling fatigued, I was tired, and honestly, I was, I was depressed. I didn't know that I was depressed. And the first thing the doctor said was just, you, you know, go take these pills go take these antidepressants. And I was so against it because of what happened to my dad and I almost blamed antidepressants for my dad's suicide. But looking at it now and speaking to so many people, antidepressants have their place. I highly recommend that you do take antidepressants if you've done enough research, if you've tried a lot of other things as well and if there is a chemical imbalance in your brain. Now, the misconception that people have, and this just paints that picture, is they aren't a happy pill. You can't just take an antidepressant and all of a sudden your depression goes, your anxiety goes, you feel the best that you've ever felt. These are fucking serious drugs. And it's, it's, it's hard reading this this morning because that's all people are going to think antidepressants are now. You have to test which ones work. You have to go through ups and downs. You have to see which ones you will manage your depression better throughout a long period of time. You can't just take a pill and then feel happy. Um, so it's good that obviously mental health and antidepressants are being put in the spotlight. You know, The Guardian's probably more of a trusted source, if you can call it that. But at the same time, is this just feeding back into you know, pharmaceutical companies. We always talk about funding within the mental health, the NHS, whatever country you're in. For me, funding needs to be in terms of support, having the right counsellors, the right therapists in place. Even going one step further, and I'm doing another video about this, scanning our brains, like mental health, depression, anxiety, it's the only practice, I guess you could call it, where you don't actually get your brain scanned. 
Now, you wouldn't go to the doctors with backache and expect to, them to not scan your back or give you an x-ray or say that you've got a suspected broken leg. Would you then expect them to give you an x-ray to look at your leg and to diagnose the problem? Of course. But we go to a doctor, we go to a therapist with a problem up here saying that we feel depressed, we feel anxious, OCD, whatever it is. And they never once look at the actual organ, the actual body part that's in question. And I can't remember his name. I think it's Daniel Amen. I'll link up to his TED talk in the description below. He said, lessons learned from 83,000 brain scans. It was, it, was, it was called something like that. And he said that by just looking at the brain sometimes, you can have a clearer picture on what antidepressant someone needs, what medication someone needs. Because we all go to a counselor or a therapist or a doctor with similar solution, similar issues. You know, low fatigue, we're fatigued, low mood, we don't feel good about ourselves, we lack motivation and all of these symptoms of depression. And they treat us exactly the same. Whereas we're all different. Some might have higher activity in the brain. Some might have lower activity in the brain. Different parts of the brain. And honestly, the reason why I'm looking more into this now is because of my brother's accident. My brother had a traumatic brain injury seven months ago. He's still in hospital and in a rehabilitation unit. And literally, this rehabilitation unit of people suffering with brain injuries or bleeds to the brain is a complete reflection of the mental health unit that I used to sit in with my dad. It's scary how similar it is. And for me personally, just to pop someone some pills, give them some pills to cure depression, isn't the answer. Um, rant over. So a, a few key things with this video. If you're watching this video, you know, kind of getting a bit more idea on antidepressants, I would highly say do, a, do your research and don't go into it thinking that this is a happy pill that will just make everything easier for you. I'm going to read this article even more. Um, full story on page nine. But that's just my thoughts on it. You know, it's, it's great that mental health is getting more awareness. And like I say, antidepressants do serve a purpose, but don't just feel like they're a happy pill and it's the solution to everything. There is so much more that you can possibly do to manage your depression. Antidepressants will slowly start to make you feel better, but your nutrition, meaning in your life, purpose in your life, um, daily habits, exercise, there is so much more that you can do to boost your mood, to boost serotonin, to make you feel better. So don't just look at it as a happy pill. Um, and yeah, that's kind of it. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Um, I did get annoyed reading that this morning. I'm not as annoyed now. Now I've got it out on camera. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you do want any recommendations when it comes to finding the right antidepressants for you. I'm not an expert, but I can share my personal experience. I can share others, others' experience that people have mentioned to me over the last few years as well. Um, you know, link to you to some experts as well. Whatever you want, just let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys, and I'll see you all in a video very soon.